but I haven't uh, I haven't downloaded any of them yet. Don't tell me. Um, but um, really great guy. I don't want to mention his name yet because I like I said I haven't downloaded anything from him yet to actually use for that um, for this uh, talk radio station. Um, I'm just gonna call it Persistence Live. So I I think it's this talk radio right now. I'm gonna just change it to uh, Persistence Live. So you're probably gonna see that on on YouTube. I'm sharing this link. So if you're watching it, cool. So yeah, this is my farm. Um, I really fell in love with hay because it's like, oh, we have hay now. You can make hay bales. So I really don't know the real reason for them, but they look pretty. So yeah, hay bales. Um, but like I said, um, I was building a farm because I need a lot of leather to make books. This is the second part of it. So I need a sugar cane to make the paper. Um, and then here is also the other part of the farm, of course, which is the actual food distribution portion. This is how I feed all the animals. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, there you go. All the wheat and such. I want to feed them right now. I have a lot of animals right now, and I don't have any food. Um, but yeah, so that's, um, that's the barn. It's the farm. Uh, let me show you Long Long Ranch. You guys know the reference? You get brownie points, so put it in the chat if you know the reference of Long Long Ranch. Or Long, yeah, it's Long Long Ranch, I'm pretty sure. Um, but here you go. This is uh, uh, my equestrian center for my stables. Um, I do have different horses, I've named them. I didn't put labels on them, but I don't like that. Um, I just know which one's which. So this one's Lightning. He's amply named because he is the fastest horse I have. Super fast. I'm gonna ride him right now. Uh, here's Epona. Uh, same reference from Long on Ranch. You guys know the reference. You get brownie points. Put it in chat. Uh, or put it in. Uh, what's my call it? Put it in. One second. Uh, don't put it in chat. Put it in. Uh, what's my call it? Oh, I forget what it's called. Um, one second. Whoa. What's the chat? Just make sure. Oh, hey, what's up? Someone's actually here. Hi, Kuya. Yes, my Kuya is in here. <laughs> uh, like I said, this is going to go on YouTube. I'm starting it up again. Uh, what I used to do in terms of recordings. I'm probably going to just do more like games and talk. I might do some talking stuff. I actually gotten some uh, invites from some people I know um, within the industry and within the ministry to do interviews. So I might do that later. Uh, but right now, I really just wanted to see if the screen would work. Uh, so yeah, um, this is my ranch. Oh, I was with uh, the horses. So this is Epona. Again, brownie points if you know the reference of what video game that's from. Oh, almost gave it away. Um, this is not the doggo. This is actually just uh, some horse I bred. I haven't named them yet. Uh, technically because I don't have room to put a sign up. And I don't know how to put them. So if I ever make this table bigger, then I'll name them. I might make it bigger. Or I might do, you know what I should do? I should make it two columns. Like, you know, like, oh, two road. So I have a road here. Um, I was going to extend it to the left side, but there's not that much room. But what I might do is I might extend it here. And then just have the horses on this side, too. I might do that. We'll see. Uh, I got these two white random horses because I was just practicing breeding. Um, this is not the dog. I'll show you the dog later. This is ugly because I needed a horse and I got this one. He looks so ugly. He looks like he looks sorry for the, for the rep. sorry for the language, but he looks like a turd. Like he really does, and I don't like him. But I kept him because he's a horse. Uh, and then this is Clifford, the big red dog. Um, I named him that for a reason because when I first started building my house. Um, I couldn't push the horse out of the door. Um, so, um, he ended up staying in my house for like three weeks because I didn't know how to get him out. And I already built my house. I didn't want to kill him because I really thought it would be hard to find horses. And he looked kind of cute. So I was like, okay, he'll just be my really big dog. And I just thought about it. A couple weeks went by and my, my friend asked me, like, hey, so what are you going to name the horse? I was like, I don't know. Um, so I was like, oh, he's big and red. I was like, oh, he's Clifford. He's Clifford, the big red dog. 
So I ended up finally getting him out. He killed me a couple times for suffocation damage, but whatever. I love him anyway. Um, once again, my house. It's nice. Oh, very choppy. Oh, you know what? The stream probably is pretty choppy. I apologize. Um, okay, again, I'm practicing. Hold on, maybe, maybe me. Because I'm just starting out. Um, yeah, you guys, it was choppy. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm using a program called Ustream. Let me try something else. I'm going to try just doing this. Let's see if this works. Can you still hear me? It looks like you can still hear me. Um, trying to make it so that... Let me see here. Um, go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. In this case. Uh, let me see here. So source settings. So it's USB. Let's show source settings. Um, I said that. Uh, no, I don't need any of that. Uh, sources, outputs, canvas size, it's fine. I can go into VGA. That's what I did before. I'll try if it works. I'll, I'll see if it works. Um, yeah, let's try it. While streaming or saving to disk. Oh, no. Um, let me try this too. I'm going to start quitting some stuff that I don't really need right now. Um, I'll do that. I'm gonna have to close that. So um, my uh, my kuya or well, my, uh, my, uh, my older cousin's actually on stream. He's helping me out. Um, in terms of the stream quality, apologies again. I'm not a professional streamer, so the stream quality will probably suffer for a couple of sessions. Uh, if it's too choppy, sorry. Hopefully, you just love my voice. Um, the, so it's probably the same, but, uh, uh, again, just starting out. Um, it's choppy because it's choppy. Again, not a professional streamer. Um, the reason I'm using Ustream too, um, a lot of times when you do gaming, you're going to use Twitch. Uh, can use Twitch uh, for the sole reason and purpose that, well, Twitch doesn't like Max, <laughs> uh, at least for right now. So, you know what's raining again? Well, I like the rain, but Twitch, I need to, I need to do the rest of my tour. So, Let's see here. So, I'm gonna go into bed, sleep, get up. There you go. So, I don't know, it looks a little less choppy, but as long as you hear my voice, again, not a professional streamer, maybe not yet, but uh, just wanted to make sure that it was smooth enough so you can at least hear my voice too. Um, here's my second mine, I have another mine outside I'll show you. Uh, once again, my workstation. Uh, what else I want to show? A couple paintings upstairs, I got my kitchen over here. Uh, here's the outside. I got two entrances. Um, this is the start of my little harbor area. That's where I do my fishing. I don't fish too much though. I don't like to fish. Um, I don't have the patience for it. Um, but this is my little harbor area. I'm probably going to extend a little bit more. Probably make a couple of other things. Maybe a small lighthouse or something. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. Uh, side of the house. Uh, showed my question said, oh, here's Hidalgo. Hidalgo, um, you know what, actually, let's go ahead, I'm going to give you the rest of the tour on Hidalgo. There you go. I love how we have leads now, so like the horses don't get lost or nothing. So I'm going to show the rest of the tour on Hidalgo. Uh, so Hidalgo also has a movie reference, you know what that is, put it in chat, or... Uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, put it into the YouTube comments, and you get brownie points if you know the reference of Hidalgo. One of my favorite movies, actually. You should, um, you should know why the source is named Hidalgo. Watch the movie Hidalgo and you'll find out. Uh, here's my um, 
here's my bat little small Mortal Kombat esque battle arena. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make a little shrine. I want to make a little like seat where like uh, Shao, uh, not Shao Kahn or Shang Tsung actually sits, whatever. Um, I had a battle with the spider the other day, and that's why one of the pieces of carpet is missing. But anyway, that's that. Um, over here is uh, the uh, Torch of Champions. I'm gonna name it that, I guess. Uh, I just made it because I felt like my top, my little like, place needed a little bit more light, so I just put this torch, this big huge torch on top. You'll see it at night too, it's kind of cool. Um, here's my little forest area, this is where I harvest wood. Um, I like the oak wood, I don't like the other ones, spruce and all the other ones that are light, I don't really like it. So I ended up using oak, and then here is dark oak. See, it's how, how it's like four panels big. It's so, so legit. It's so legit. I love it. I, I want to make the whole thing like that. It's just all like really thick wood. Um, and then here's the Path of the Titans is what I'm calling it. This is the start. It's probably going to take me about a month to finish this because this path is going to lead through the mountains and into uh, uh, and into the uh, the ocean, which I found um, by accident a couple months ago um but yeah that's that's the plan um i have a little uh lookout area uh that i create i don't want to go anymore because i'll go through suffocation again um but yeah this is uh this is the lookout area um and then again this uh this path is going to lead through the mountain uh through the mountain area across the floating there's a little floating island here it's kind of cool uh he's still chopped at least it sounds fine <laughs> Okay, I'm glad. Thanks, Kuya. Uh, sorry if I'm not looking at the chat. I had the chat over here. Actually, let me move the chat. I'm going to move it over here. So I can read it and such. Okay, there we go. So the chat is now like right in my face. Um, so yeah, I'm really just going for the sound, guys. Ah! Oh, I fell in water. Yes! I didn't die. Um. But yeah, that's my town so far. A um, couple goals that I, um, couple goals for our group. Um, it's a, it is a private server, so uh, of course we can't to play together unless I create my own server. Um, if enough people start following and like to play Minecraft, I might do that. If not, uh, I'm not gonna do it. Um, I do like playing alone a little bit. Um, I like the peace and quiet that goes with playing alone. I like playing in groups too, especially if we're gonna do dungeon rage. It's just easier. Um, but yeah, um, if it gets popular enough, if people like to follow me, and if I get enough people saying, yeah, I want to play Minecraft, oh, uh, we might do it. I might, um, I might just get my own server, so you can play together, but if not that many people want to, I'm not even going to bother. So right now, I'm just playing on my, um, my friend's server. Um, yeah. So this is my house, guys. Um, uh, I'm liking it. Um, I like the feel. It's very artsy. It's uh, I, I like going for symmetrical looks, but I like how it's not symmetrical to a certain degree. I like that. Um, so that's it. Uh, this is my house. Got my little bookcase over here. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, couple agendas I'm going to be doing today. I'm not going to be doing too much. Um, um, I want to go on another uh, diamond uh, diamond diamond run. So I need more diamonds. I only have three. And then I have this really cool diamond pickaxe right now that has unbreaking and efficiency too. So, which I like. Uh, it took a, took a while to actually get that. But I do want to get like uh, I want to get a better pickaxe even more than a mining. Um, but we'll see. We'll see definitely what happens. Um, I might actually do that. So if we do that, let's get ready. Um, let me the leather. Let me this. I need to go upstairs. Dark oak saplings. Actually, I need wood. Wood spruce wood planks. I mean, I don't have those. Hay bales. Dark oak. Dark oak brick. I don't need dirt. 
need that. Iron sword for extra. Don't need this. Don't need this. I need meats. It's fine. We can stay here. I don't really need a chest right now. Don't need a fence. Don't need an iron for that. So I think I should be good. I'll just need the egg here. Um, uh, for now, it should be good. I'll bring some dirt just in case I need to cover something up. And then I should be okay. I want to shovel. I should get a shovel. So, yeah, I'm looking at the stream too, guys. It is pretty choppy. So, quality wise, not really there. But uh, again, just talking around. Um, you know what? Since I'm going to be doing a diamond run, uh, diamond run I'm going to look up some questions that I can answer for you guys. Um, I'm going to see if I can get some common questions that people usually ask. Um, not about me. I don't talk about me right now. I don't talk about other people. And uh, once again, used to be in, uh, I used to have an advice column, kind of. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, in the meantime, until I compile the questions, I actually have a whole broadcast. I'm just going to be popping up some questions online. Maybe talking about some stuff that's been going on uh, around, the, around the world. Give my opinions. We'll see. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, let's make a shovel. I need an iron one because I have a lot of irons. Irons. Iron. Okay, I need sticks. Uh, these are wood I have, but I should have sticks in here somewhere. Should. I should have sticks on the bottom. It's empty. No, what are you doing? There. Oh, uh, no. Nothing there. Oh, uh, I still got my bow. I still got that. I still got that. So, a couple of sticks on there. Last one. It's right there. I'm just gonna make sticks. Okay, I'll make sticks. Right, let's make some sticks real quick. So I'll make sticks, and then I'll make a couple of shovels. So over here, to here, to here, to here, four, right there. Mine shaft, and I'm probably gonna use the same one. Well, I'm gonna try to make a detour this time, but uh, I'll show you the mine that I have so far. Um, I kind of want to go the other way. What do you think? Should I go the other way? So, this is the mine that I have so far. Uh, I'll tell you what, before I do that, let's go in. I'm gonna look for some, uh, I need a new window, new window, yes. And, common questions asked by, I'm gonna do teens today, I might do artists next time. So I'm gonna do a search right now, common questions asked by teens. Uh, it's slow because I'm streaming, oh, my computer can't handle it too much, but whatever, it doesn't matter. You stream? Um, I like Ustream. It's actually very user friendly. Um, I wish I could use Twitch because it's faster. Because, but again, Twitch is like Mac. Uh, frequently asked questions from teams. Tough questions about. No, I don't want to. What the heck? Job interview questions. <laughs> Stay team. Frequently asked questions. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Um, I'm on stayteam.org. Let's see what they ask. Uh, I'm curious, and once again, I'm asking for teens because I'm a, uh, I, I'm a youth overseer and coordinator actually for my local church. Um, but uh, I'll go through these questions and uh, I'll give my word, uh, at least my opinion on it. Uh, what I usually would teach teens, especially within our church, and, uh, youth, and adults, whatever, um, and um, I give my opinions on it. Um, you're welcome to have your opinions as well. In fact, I encourage it. If you have your opinions, uh, either put it in chat if you're ever in chats, or you can put it in the YouTube comments and I'll answer your questions. Uh, your questions may even come up in one of my broadcasts. Who knows? Uh, in the meantime, first question is, I'm not sure if I'm ready for sex. How can I tell? Uh, you're not. No one is. <laughs> um, I would say it that way, bluntly yet try to be polite. Um, 
my my whole thing about this already. Um, there's like lava right in front of me. How did I not die? Um, I'm going to do that. So okay, but um, my whole thing about um, sex, especially before marriage, is it's a bad idea to have sex before marriage. And uh, there might be some people just like, well, you know, um, and I'll meet, I'll meet them. Like I've I've actually even through uh, even through my ministry, I've had teens come up to me and said that they've already you know did the deed. And you know what? It happens. Um, I don't I don't encourage it at all, all. All. I don't encourage it at all in that sense that I really think people should wait until uh, wait until they get married. Um, there's a lot of maturity that goes with uh, having sex. Honestly, um, I don't want to beat a dead horse about it, but there's a lot of maturity that some of that people have to go through before actually getting that intimate. Um, and in, a, in the greatest sense, the only intimacy that would be most comfortable to have would be the intimacy of marriage, like really having that commitment before anything else happens in, in regards to um, sexual intercourse. Um, I really don't I really don't recommend it. Really don't recommend it. As a youth leader, I'd say no, don't don't do it. Um, but there's really no but about it. But anyway, I will say I'll say this. If you're if you're married, it's a really good indication that you're ready. Um, just because there's a there's a mature again there's a maturity problem. Um, are youth gonna have? Uh, are youth still gonna have sex? You know what? That is one thing that I've learned. You can say as much as you want about oh I forgot torches. What? I forgot torches. I'm gonna go back. Anyway, uh, you can say whatever it is that you want. Um, you can you can be as um, as, as uh, courteous as you want. You can be as um, you know, like, blunt as you want. You can even tell people, don't do it. And you know what? Human nature is, you're going to find someone that's going to do it. Um, either through spite, or either, or they'll just have made the decision in their minds that no matter what you say, I'm going to do it. I've met a lot. I've met a lot of people that actually go through that. It's like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Like, even if I respect you, I don't care. I'm still going to do it. Um, even then, like, I've, I've had people come to me, it's like, well, then what would you do? It's like, would you talk about contraceptives? I'm like, no, not really, no. Because, I mean, like, biblically, con contraception is not, it's no bueno when it comes to, like, in, in that sense. I don't really recommend contraception in this, in, in the sense, um, in, in the sense of, hey, like, you know, I'm going to have sex, I just don't want to get pregnant. Um, you know what? Like, I, I, I don't want to touch the subject too much, but, like, if, if you're already on that path where you're just like, you know, like, whatever, I'm going to do it, um, <laughs> I'd be the ironic first person to say, it's like, I really wouldn't, like, like, you're going to go, you're going to go, like, you're going to do it, so, things are going to happen, I will say that, things are going to happen matter like what you think or what you say things are going to happen um contraception or anything else it's like you know what you've already made the decision oh well, see here okay here's the thing a lot of times um people think that like the biggest thing that they have to worry about is pregnancy it's like not, not just that there's the emotional drain of being within a relationship with another person uh there's the physical the emotional the spiritual drain i mean that's that's basically that's that's Oh, man, I don't want to get too much into it. But let's just say this. There's more, you can lose a lot more things than your virginity when it comes to having sex. That's why it's so important. That I mean, honestly, not, not a lot of people actually go this far and actually say but then there's there's a reason why people tell you to wait. And it's not because I'm trying to like ruin the fun. Um, there are a we especially as ministers, as parents, um, as just people who care about you, we tell you this, like, we tell you this to say, don't go through it, just because 
I personally won't say like I'm bitter because I haven't, but I have seen people where their biggest regret is, yeah, like I, I did it, I did the deed, whatever, like whatever you want to call it, and but and they regret it because now they found the person that they really love, they really enjoy being with, and now you know what? It's not the same because they know that they know that they um the thing that they really wanted to give them. That's what it is. Like seriously, that's what it is. When when you, when you, when you talk about when you talk about having that type of intimacy in terms of having sex, you're giving something that's so important to you to another person that hopefully feels the same way about it, feels the same way. And if they don't, it's really not worth it. There's a level of intimacy. There's a level of trust. There's a level of there's a whole bunch of stuff that people don't that people don't talk about. Right. All right. Let me look now. Um, but you know what? That's that's enough on the subject. I'll, I'll I'll just say that if you're gonna decide to do it, which no matter how much I say don't do it, people are gonna do it. If you just des- if you decide, know what you're know what you're gonna get into and and think twice about it. That's the only thing I can say. Because you know what? If you really if you really want to do it, you're gonna end up doing it. Um. And this is not an encouragement, by the way. I'm not encouraging you. It's like, oh, you're going to do it anyway. No, this is a discouragement. It's like, hey, like, think twice about, like, the life that you're about to live. Um, when it comes to giving away that kind of intimacy. But that's enough about that. Let's go to the next question. That's a hard one. Wow, I didn't know I had talked so much about that. Um, once again, you guys, this is going to be on YouTube. I'm going to be putting a bunch of links, actually, on um, Facebook. And uh, Twitter, I guess, because it's linked. Uh, well, not on Twitter so much. So if you want to talk or if you want to leave any comments, leave it on Facebook. Leave it on the chat within, uh, within uh, the YouTube link. Um, we can talk from there. Uh, who knows? You might, your question might end up on, uh, um, on, this, uh, on this video. Or what I'm also planning to do is make this a podcast, too. If you guys don't want to, uh, if you guys don't want to watch me play Minecraft. Um, but anyway, okay, next one. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to do that one. What's the best way to make sure I don't get pregnant? I, one word, abstinence. Um, that's it. People argue with me. Oh, what about suck? The best way? The best way is abstinence. Seriously, just don't, you know, don't do it. Um, best way to make sure you don't get pregnant. How about make sure that when you do get pregnant, it's in the right reasons? Marriage. <laughs> like, okay. Man, I didn't know I was going to talk about this. You know what? Pregnancy is a... Pregnancy and having a child is a gift from God. So it's almost insulting to have a question saying, so how do I make sure I don't get pregnant? It's like, how do you make sure you don't get a gift from God? Um, that's weird. That, it's, it's an oxymoron. I think. Um, so in, in the sense, let's rephrase the question. It's like, how do I make sure that's the right time to get pregnant? Um, you know, I have, I have friends. I have, I have people... Uh, that I love, where that when they actually announce, hey, you know, I'm pregnant, um, dude, it's a celebration. And that's what it's supposed to be. It shouldn't be a panic. It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. And I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that it's gotten to that, that point where, like, when someone says they're pregnant, it's a panic. It's like, what should I do? It should be a celebration. You know when it's a celebration? When you're married. <laughs> when you When you've waited long enough for the right person in your life to say, hey, this is the person I want to have kids with, and you have a kid with them, man, that's, that's, that's the proper way. I mean, it, it all, like, honestly, guys, it all revolves around that. Like, why are, why are you guys so worried about getting pregnant when technically you shouldn't even be thinking about getting pregnant? You should be thinking about finding the right person, find, um, developing your career, developing your walk with God. I mean, hey, call me a prude or, or or not like I'm a minister so I'm be, I'll, I'll be the first one to say uh, develop your walk develop your spiritual life and journey first and then when the time is right that person will come and help you even more in your journey. that's the idea um, to the point where yeah I mean it'll lead to having kids it'll lead to like all this all this great and awesome things in your life including pregnancy pregnancy should be a blessing because kids are a blessing So, I'm going to leave it at that. 
Um, these are interesting questions. And once again, I'm, I'm getting this from uh, a website. I'm going to put it in the link when I put it on YouTube. Um, but I'm getting it from a website where I guess it's all just, it's, oh, wow. I think I'm pregnant. What should I do? I'm pregnant. What do I do? Uh, these are commonly asked questions, you guys, really? Can condoms really break? Yes. They're plastic. It's like, if your iPhone can break, your condom can break. <laughs> and I want to go into the What is these questions? And I feel like almost going on like my own little, my own little thing about it, about these questions about pregnancy and everything else. Hey, like, I'll, I'll say it this way. You guys want, you guys want to have a really great relationship. You guys want to have a really great time with the person that, um, that you really admire. Be friends. Be friends, stay friends. Just go into that path first before anything else happens. I'll say it that way. I think I've been here before. Yeah, there's my book. Ah, uh, great. So I've been here before and I don't need to be here again. Uh, I it up. Oh, here's a new spot, guys. Uh, if you're listening in a podcast, you're probably not going to see this, but if you're watching on YouTube, just find me Kate. What? Um, but I'm going a little rant about this because um, when when you're going to be developing, there's a lot of stuff that goes into um, a good and honest relationship. I don't have all the answers. I have some. I don't have them all, honestly, guys. But if you're going to be developing into a not nice, honest relationship, it should start out as a friendship, honestly. Start by being friends, and then see where it goes from there. Because you don't want to give your gift away to anyone, just anyone. Like when I say gift too, like I, I really mean your life. I don't mean like you know, like that thing. That what the heck? Where, where, where? Go you. Let's go. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on. Oh, what? Um, sorry, skeleton guys. Um, yeah, I got some. Uh, oh, is that? No, no, it's not. Um, but yeah, if you're gonna develop a relationship, I mean, if, if you're gonna have a long lasting relationship, long lasting relationship with someone that you really admire, dude, just have a, like, be friends first, seriously. You do not want to give this, that, that, that kind of intimacy away to just some, anyone, dude. You want to give it away to someone you, really admire and appreciate and honestly it's going to take time it takes time to develop a relationship like that it takes time to know if this person is the one that you really want to spend that kind of time with if you want to have babies with like it takes uh, like i'll be honest it's it i i i i particularly believe it takes years it really does it takes years to develop a relationship like that um you may disagree with me, it's like, oh yeah, no, I, 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 I have known for quite a while, maybe six months, just like, no. I personally think you need more time. Could you? Yeah. I mean, there could be the whole rarity of the love at first sight kind of thing, maybe. But really, a long-lasting relationship, it, it takes intimacy. And intimacy, and intimacy takes time, seriously, it takes time. And if you don't take the time, it's great. If you don't take the time, it doesn't really, I'll even, yeah, I'd warrant this. If you don't take the time, it really doesn't mean that much to you. And that's it. And we shouldn't even be having a conversation. Because if you don't believe in taking the time to develop a long-lasting relationship, if you just want to go, 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 then kind of talk to the wrong person. Because I'm here, I'm, like, my, my whole job and goal, especially especially within the home industry, is to develop teams for, um, for for the long haul. To make sure that they have good, long-lasting, great relationships with people that they really do love and will love. Um, anything else? It's on you. Like, I have acquaintances, I don't even call them friends. Not, not, not because I don't like them, it's just because I end up like, being too deep with people to that degree. Um, 
that thinking in certain in, in certain like very I hate to say but shallow ways. Like if you're just like you're in it to you're you, you want to get like in it to quit it, that's it. Like you just want to get yours, then I don't like talking to you. <laughs> because it's more like life is more than just like just those one night stands and everything else. And if I'm the first one to say it, if you're listening, you've gotten this far in my little Minecraft podcast. Um, I'll be the first one to say your life is more than a one night stand. For life, so much more than a one night stand. All life is. Your life is. It's more than a one night stand. God has so much, so much more for you that you shouldn't. Just, you shouldn't just say, hey, you know what? Like, I'm just here to have fun, YOLO, we are young, you know, we should set the world on fire. Speaking of fire, I am, um, I'm smelting right now. Jeez. Um, but, yeah, like, you guys, your lives are, your lives are more, um, more worth it than one night stands and such. So it's kind of like, I don't want to say disappointing. It's kind of disappointing. Um. I'll say disheartening. That's <laughs> a longer word. It means the same thing. Um, but it's kind of sad to see a lot of people say, like, hey, I'm pregnant, hey, I'm this and that. Like, total panic state when, like, honestly, oh, come on. I'll go. Um, where's my lead? There it is. Um, and honestly, life should be a lot more than just that. Your life needs your 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 friendships mean more than that. And in the end, the person that you're with, guy or girl, um, the person that you're with is gonna mean more than just a one night stand. And that's the person that you that you want to be with. That's the person that you want to be into that way with. That's the person that you're gonna want to have kids with. Seriously. And it's gonna be so much more of a blessing than oh, gosh, mom, I'm pregnant. What do I do? It's gonna be so much more important. So that's all I have to tell. I should have known, like, looking at teen questions would just kind of lead up to that. But anyway, um, let's see what time is it. I don't know if I have too much more time on the stream, guys. Uh, looks like, yeah, no, I got about 15 minutes. Let's try to get some better questions. So we got about 15 more minutes in the stream. I'm going to close it up right there. If you have any other questions, um, like, I'll have my, like, Facebook stuff online and everything. Check me out. If you want to personal message me? I'm here. Um, I may be a minister for my church, but that means to be a minister for everyone. So if you ever have any questions about faith, about life, uh, about art, and that's what I'm probably going to be talking about next time, a little bit more about art, uh, my quest to be an artist, and uh, any other uh, tips I can give to other aspiring artists, musicians, things like that. Um, how stuff works. You know things. What? Um, <laughs> this is an interesting one. Teens, WebMD. What the heck? Are you ready to go out? Four questions to add, uh, to answer. And how do you with your parents if they think you're not ready to date? Okay, so what's the first question? Are you ready to go out? Okay, so I'm not going to read the article. I'm going to give my own opinion. You're ready to go out. Um, I think a lot of teens. Again, opinions and through experience. This is what I learned. Um couple of things you should consider when going out with somebody the first thing is are you friends first because if you're just going to go out if someone like if someone just told you like hey you should go out with this person blind dates are one thing like you can go and just like meet a friend that's fine um are you friends first is it really one of the biggest things that you should be asking when you're, when you're about to go out with somebody um you should be friends first because you should like each other you shouldn't just be drawn to each other and lustful passion I mean, I guess that helps to a very, very, very small degree, but I, I, it does help. Like, physical attraction needs to be important, but it's not the most important. You, I would really recommend be friends first before you actually go out. Um, are you going together as a group? If it's a group, then yeah, definitely go out, meet new people, you know. Like, in that sense, that's fine. I, I don't really see too much of a problem going out in a group. As long as it's a group, not like, oh, it's a group, it's three people, and then there's like this one third wheel, it's like, why am I on this date? And then you just ends up walking around, sorry, I have bad memories about that, <laughs> being the third wheel. Oh, man, third wheel. No bueno, dude, third wheel. 
Um, but yeah, like you should. Just things to consider, like when, when you go out. Um, but that is one thing. Are you friends? If it's a blind date, um, be open. Um, make a friend before you make a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Um, that's my biggest thing. Um, make a friend because you end up you end up marrying your best friend. Seriously, like in the end, you have a good relationship with your with your friends. And you end up marrying your best friend, someone you can really talk to. So if you can't talk on the first date, um, that's going to be hard. If you're just impressing and everything else, and you're just putting your best foot forward, I'm not saying don't. I'm saying that you should put your best foot forward, but keep your other, other foot handy a little bit. So it's not all just like fake and stuff. Um, let me put it over here. So that means lagging hard so you can see my face. Hey! Um... Yeah, but if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, like that's for Ford, sure, yeah, why not? Um But also just keep in mind that you're making a friend. And that's that's one thing that I really would recommend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed my animals so I'm gonna feed that person. Um But yeah, like uh, if you're gonna go out, that's that's one thing I'd really recommend. Friends first, or keep it friendly. Keep it friendly. Um, you're not, yeah, you're not trying to, you're not trying to get engaged on the first, at, at, at first bat, seriously. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I don't want to go, I said bad, and I was thinking a metaphor like baseball, but whatever, you gotta get the picture. Like, don't try to put everything all at once. Keep it steady, keep it sure, keep it friendly. Um, but yeah, let's let's end oh thanks for moving cheap. Um it's gonna kill him actually. It's like so annoying, get out of the way. Uh what am I seeing here? Uh let's see what the other question is. Um uh, do that. Do this. So that was the first question. Uh what are the other questions? What other question? Do you really like this person? Oh, 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 yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, that's a really good question. And, okay, I'll tell you what. Um, this is what most people say. I, I agree. It's not that I disagree. I do agree. Um, it should be in your mind somewhere that if you're going to go out with this person, that it could be what leads towards marriage. And in a very, like, very traditional Christian courting aspect, that's going to be one of the biggest things. Especially if you have, like, an out there, who, uh, which is a big brother and sister of the church. Uh, if you're going to have, like, a person like that, uh, like, and you're going to confide in them, that's the first thing that you're going to, they're going to ask to a certain degree. Really like them. Um, what they're trying to ask is, do you see this leading towards marriage? Which is a big question sometimes for teens. I'm like, ah, I just want to go out. I just like it. I just like it. That's fine. It's not a problem. Um, as as a youth minister, that's always the question. It's like, is this healthy to lead towards marriage? Um, and some people would just be straight out. And I'll say it this way. Um, I don't. I don't appreciate sometimes. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't appreciate how candid we can be sometimes in church about like, yeah, we like we shouldn't be with this person. I feel like the only people that should be talking are very good. Not, 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 well, best friends number one, I guess, uh, just because they're best friends. Um, and if they really mean that much to you as best friends, they'll tell you straight out. Um, very close ministers, like your whole youth group shouldn't know. Um, if you confide in him, your pastor, maybe, but at the same time, not really. Like, I'm a youth pastor, and I know, like, I I tease about com com being a confidant to to my youth. Um, I always like tell him like, oh, so like this guy, when am I gonna meet him? Um, reason why I say that. Uh, reason why I say that is well, number one, like, if they're really, you know, like. If you really like them, I would like them. That'd be great. 
But I don't mean it's like so I can judge them. I mean them so I can like, in the sense, so I can bless the relationship if they're gonna have one. Um, and this is the one, this this is the first thing I always ask. I always ask this to to you uh, to youth, especially if it's like if they're doing like the whole confession thing. And I've had it before where like youth are just like, oh, well, like, Kuya, like I don't know if you know this, but like me and so and so, like we you know we kind of like each other we're going out. First thing I'll ask is, do your parents know? That's the first thing I'll ask. Because, like, I'll get two to youth. Number one, it's like, the youth that's just like, hey, I don't want this to affect, like, my time with the youth ministry, or I don't want too many people to find out and get teased a lot for, like, liking this person who's in the youth group or at the church also. Um, so they go to me, so they know that they need to have their back in the relationship, if, if that's my role. For their relationship, I guess you could say. Um, but the other thing is, like, sometimes they'll look at me, and sometimes they want approval. And then the first thing I'll ask is, do your parents know? And if they say no, then I don't approve already. Because like, if you're afraid to tell your parents, something's wrong with your relationship. Because a relationship should be open. I'm very much a... Um, I'm a proponent. Uh, I'm a big proponent of, of it takes a village to raise a family, and that's one of the things that that happens in a village. Like you know, people know who you're dating. Um, sometimes, like sometimes for ill or for good, like some, sometimes you don't want a lot of people to know. You want to keep it kind of private because it's just continuing them. I understand that. Um, but there's that confidence that you have when when you're in, um, especially when you're in like a church setting. Um all these pigs. Oh, um but yeah there's this um there's this confidence that you have with the church setting that for the most part you trust the people over there and it's more or less kind of one of the reasons why you actually have that church setting. Um so you have that accountability within the people that you love hopefully like they're like your extended family. It's like a village. Um, as a Filipino, um, I've actually gotten that a lot uh, in terms of my upbringing because my parents, for the most part, were raised in a kind of village of province um, aspect, uh, especially my dad. Um, he was raised in the village, he was raised on a farm. Like, so, like, he gets it real well that like, you can't really keep a lot of secrets. But that's the thing. Is it a secret or are you telling us because you're happy? And then that's that's a thing too. Um, if you're telling me because you're happy, and you just want to let us know, so it doesn't, you know, that's fine. That's not a problem. And that, well, that's, that's all I have to say about it. Like, think about think think about your relationship in, in the aspect that you are like you're part of a village, and the village is raising you and that other person as well. Like, you want that confidence to exude. So you have accountability. Do do did they always need to know? No, they don't always need to know. Um But I would say that the number one person is your parents know, if your parents know if you like them, you have to actually ask, do you like them? You shouldn't go out with someone because of the people pressuring you or anything like that. You should go out with the person because you like them. You should like them. If you don't like them, then you shouldn't go out with them. If you just think they're cute but have a bad personality, dude, don't go out with them. It's just gonna waste your time. Seriously. Lots. I'm looking for my cows. Let me go back. Uh, the next question. Hold on. I hold this, and everyone gathers. <laughs> um, is he or she right for you? Uh, that's a really big, big question. Um, are they right for you? Um, there's the question of what's right. Well, I'll be first to say uh, spiritually. Uh, are they equally yoked? Um, do, they, do they perceive and understand and love God the same way you do? That's important. Like, you can't have, like, some, well, sometimes you can. It depends. Um, but you, like, your faith should be very similar. Um, and your striving for it should be very similar in that sense, too. Like, if you're gonna. Bank like seven already. Yes, level eight. 
Um, but yeah, like your face should be kind of the same. Um, you don't want someone making you fall or falter. Um, yeah, you don't. It's, it's going to be hard. If someone is immature spiritually, and again, this is coming from, of course, like, you know, um, youth minister, but like, yeah, you don't want someone that'll make you fall, honestly, because it's just, it's not helpful. It's so not helpful. Um, you want someone that, that will keep you accountable, someone that will tell you straight up if you're doing wrong, someone that could do it and you could still love them for it. You know what I mean? Like, you need someone like that. I think it's very important to have someone like that. Just have someone straight up, like, call you out, someone that you can call out and they won't get offended too. Like, that's important. I really believe that's important. Um, someone that will help you grow. Like, honestly, you need that. People need that. But who's that? Okay, I have that. Like, everyone get out of my way so I can go back home. Um, but yeah, you need that. I, th I think everyone needs that. Um, yeah, it, it's the whole idea of equally yoke. All equally yoke, basic, basically what equally yoke means is, like, you're in tune with each other on a spiritual level, emotional level, Sometimes on a physical level, that, that works too. Um, let's go to the next one. The last question is, will my parents let me go out? <laughs> go back. Now I tell you, ask your parents. Um, I'll say this. If your parents say no, respect it. Um, especially like within the teen years, just, just respect their decision. If they don't let you go out, respect it. Um, I would even say this. If they don't let you go out, it might be for a reason. Um, could they be overprotective? Yeah, uh, it's been said before. Could parents be overprotective? There's an argument for it. But I, as a youth minister, I'm going to always side with the parents. If the parents said no, then just don't do it. Just wait. No problem with waiting. Um, you can ask them, like, oh, it's like, if I can't go out, can I just go out as a group? Most likely they'll say yes. Um, make sure it's a group that they trust too. Like, it's like, oh, I want to go out with a group and then they're all like bad people. And you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go into it too much, but like, if they're bad influences, bad people, you already know what I'm talking about. You don't have to beat around the bush. Um, and if you are confused whether or not you have bad influences and friends, um, if, if your parents consistently say they don't like you going out with, with people, they're bad people. At least more or less bad for you. Um. Are there, um, like, there are things that, um, that go against the rule, I guess you could say, but for the most part, if your parents say no, just don't do it. That's basically it. If your parents say no, don't do it. Um, but yeah. If they, like, here's the thing. Uh, let's get that. Smite. <laughs> I'm gonna combine these two swords when I have enough levels. Um, but yeah, like, um, just respect your parents' decision, seriously. Um, and they'll respect you for it because, in the long run, can it more or less can't keep you locked up forever, more or less. Can some, maybe, whatever. That's a different story. <laughs> But for the most part, they can't keep you locked up forever. And you know what? Parents are most likely, all of you, all you can say that. Like, your parents are most likely to agree with your um, decisions and your relationships when you agree to the terms. Because you'll find out later, because um, they're not necessarily going to be your friends, the more. Your, your, parents. your parents are your parents, they're not your friends. So they won't act like your friends. Um, but you can, what you may one day see that. The more things that you do that are in your parents' favor, the more favor you'll get from your parents. The more things that you do when they ask you to do it and when you don't do when they ask you not to do it, the more you'll get into their, into their good graces. And then sooner or later when you do ask and they think you're ready, they might still have their rules, come back by this time, come back. As long as you follow the rules, they're good with it. In fact, if you have really nice parents, which most of you do, um, if you find the right boy slash right girl, 
if she's awesome, if he's awesome, if he or she is respect, uh, respects your parents' decisions, respects your parents, period, they're going to respect you, period. They're going to be like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> we like him. We like this boy. We like this boy. Um, that's happened more often than not. Like, my sisters, my sisters have boyfriends, and they go around great, and they were always respectful of my parents' decisions, my parents' opinions, and my parents were respectful of their opinions as well, too. It wasn't always, like, I don't want to say it wasn't always the case. I will say that it took a lot of growth on, on either part, on both parts. Um, yeah, my sisters, my sisters make good decisions because they listen to their parents. And because they make good decisions, my parents are respectful with their decisions because they know that they'll make good ones. Does that make sense? If you make good decisions in front of your parents because your parents tell you make good decisions, then they know later on when time comes and they want and you want to go out, they'll know that you'll make the right decisions when you go out. It's really a matter of trust. If your parents trust you, they'll trust you to go out. If they don't trust you, they won't. And trust is trust is earned. And it can be re earned. Like if you've lost trust with your parents, if you made the wrong decisions, you can re earn it. Believe me, the first the first people that want to give back trust uh, in a relationship between parents and children are parents. They're the first people to say, I want to trust you. But if you've lost their trust, it's going to take a while. But they're the first ones that want to give it back. All right. So those are the four questions that WebMD had. I'm going to try to put this in the book too. If you guys want to check them out. Uh, but in the meantime, that's basically it for me. Uh, good one hour session of just talking and playing Minecraft. That was fun. Um, I like to talk more than I like playing Minecraft. It just fed my animals. But I really did get a really cool sword. So, uh, you, uh, you saw my place. I might uh, give you a more grinder tour later on when I get recordings from all my friends. Um, I'll show you all their hideaways within Minecraft. And you can probably go on a tour from there. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to be signing off uh, right soon. Uh, once again, if you're watching you're watching live thanks for coming in we really appreciate it if you're watching on youtube um don't forget to favorite share it um let people know about um my youtube i'll have the links to my website as well uh you can check check me out check out my poetry uh, i'm also a poet as well as a minister uh spoken word artists uh, every now and then i'll i'll be doing some open mics in and around the area of la if you're in the area stop by and say hello um or maybe we can just uh hit me up and we can go together and uh, hit some really cool open mic venues around LA. Um, or you can go to my church, that as well too, um, locally here in Covina. I live in Covina. So if you're in the area, just hit me up. In the meantime, thanks for coming in. This is a Brace Sustains. Before I go, just letting you know Brace Sustains, uh, it, is a, um, it is developing to be a community of believers uh, that believe that the mistakes in our life are not mistakes, but they're just the, the brush strokes of an almighty God. And a masterpiece of your life that's just not done yet. So don't think of any of your stains as mistakes. Don't think of any of your your faults um, as useless or a waste of time because God can use them for something really, really much greater. So as my picture says, as you can see, my profile um, embraces stains. Stains are not mistakes, but they can be used by God to make your life just a wonderful masterpiece. That's my encouragement. That's my encouragement for everyone actually going on to this channel. If there's any other questions you guys have, just let me know. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Paul Michael Corpus Hobbsomus. This is A. Uh, you should be able to find it in the link below with the, with the YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching it live, then go to my YouTube channel and then you can find the links there. Um, and uh, that's basically it. Take care. God bless. Uh, thanks for coming in and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.